Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be studying about the presentation layer of the OSI reference model. So as we all know, the presentation layer is the second last layer from the top or it is the sixth layer present in the OSI model. Okay, sixth layer in the OSI reference model. And this particular layer is also known as the syntax layer or the translation layer okay so two other names that you want or you should remember is that presentation layer is also known as the syntax layer or even as the translation layer and there is a reason behind it why it is known as translation layer or the syntax layer this is because this entire layer is concerned with how data is presented to the layers below it so how the data will be exchanged in what format or how conversion will take place from one format to the other. So basically this layer is concerned with the syntax and the semantics of the data that is being transmitted. Syntax basically means the format in which the data is being sent and received. Okay, so presentation layer checks how the data is getting presented to the receiving end and what conversions are required or what conversions are required for security purposes. So to do all these performance or to do uh, fulfill all these responsibilities, there are certain functions of the presentation layer which are again related to the syntax or the presentation of data. Okay. The first and the most important function of the presentation layer is encryption and decryption. So encryption is performed at the sender end. So the data is encrypted at the side of the sender and the presentation layer at the receiver decrypts the data at the receiver. So decrypted at the receiver end that means that when the sender creates some data that has to be transmitted from the sender's application to the receiver's corresponding application, then the presentation layer encrypts that data, which means it converts it into a form that is not understandable by anyone in between. And it will only be understood by the receiver once he performs the, the function of decryption on the encrypted data. So sender and receiver agree on a certain set of rules that should be followed to encrypt the data and the receiver follows the corresponding rules to decrypt the data. And since only the receiver knows how to decrypt the data, that is why the presentation layer uh, provides security and this is how it, it is able to provide data protection at the presentation layer. Okay, so encryption and decryption provides data security over the network when data is transmitted over the network. Now, the next function of the presentation layer is translation. Translation means conversion from one data format into the other. So, there might be instances where the sender has created data in one format and the receiver expects to receive or the receiver will be able to understand the data only in some other format then it is the responsibility of the con of the presentation layer to perform this conversion from one data format into the other data format which is understandable by the receiver and this functionality provides interoperability among the interacting devices. Interoperability. Interoperability basically means that different types of devices are able to exchange data because of this functionality provided by the presentation layer. So it is like if you are speaking Spanish and your friend only knows French and not Spanish then there is a presentation layer in between which converts your Spanish question into French and then presents it to your friend who only understands French. Now, when your friend 
replies again in French, the presentation layer will perform the other way conversion. That is, it will convert French word into Spanish word so that you can understand and so on. So, it is providing interoperability between different devices or applications which require different types of data format to be exchanged. Okay. The next functionality of the presentation layer is compression. Compression basically means the reduction in the number of bits that are being transmitted. Reduction in the number of bits or in the size of the data that is being transmitted. Okay. Now, this reduction is important because it increases the throughput of the communication or the channel. So, it improves the throughput of the channel and allows for faster and quicker transmission. That is why we compress the, uh, the data without affecting the quality or the value, the content of the data. And then we try to transmit it in lesser number of bits by preserving the information. Okay. The next and the last important functionality of the presentation layer is serialization. So, serialization basically means conversion of high level data structures into a simpler format that can be easily understood and stored at the receiving end. Okay. So, high level data structures are converted into a simpler and an easier format which can be stored at the receiving end in a better manner. Okay. So, these were the four main functionalities of the presentation layer. Now, let's come to the main protocols that help in the implementation of these functions at the presentation layer. So, one of the most common protocols is Apple Filing Protocol. You just need to remember the main names if you are interested. You can also refer to the detailed functionality. Then we have the most common and important that you all must know, the secure socket layer. So, this is the layer that allows for HTTPS connections also the secure, the S in the HTTPS is by SSL layer or the secure socket layer protocol. The next protocol is XDR which is external data representation protocol and the last one the most common one is LPP which is lightweight presentation protocol. So, these are some names of the protocols that you can remember whenever you are writing your theory answer in your exams so that you get complete marks when you are asked to describe the functionality and the functions of the presentation layer. So, this was all about today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video and understood the content and if this video helped you in any way possible, please let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.